Spontaneous Speaking Video 61. Quick update. Today was my final final. Um, unfortunately, I will be doing one more semester uh, because of internships and just a lot of like other stuff that's the uh, the, there's a video coming out on that as well called the incubation process um, but essentially today was the last day of school for me and it was the last day of school for a lot of my friends and um, yeah it's, it's gonna be an eventful summer uh, but what I wanted to come talk to you guys about today was pretty much taking pride in who slash what you are and there's a lot of things that pretty much triggered why I wanted to talk about this um, and we will get to that but what I've realized is that the way that we respond to certain criticism oftentimes is how people will be able to view us and view what they may be even criticizing. Now, that doesn't really make sense, or that might not really make sense um, at the moment, but just bear with me and I'll elaborate through many different examples that I'm personally gonna be sharing. And I don't want this to be like a venting session. <laughs> um, even though I'm an FE dominant, like extroverted feeler or whatever, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, I have to share my feelings with the whole entire world and I'm just a soft whatever, you know, things like that. Um, mainly, I just want to share the insights that I've had, um, you know, the life advice that I've pretty much experienced and stuff that I could share with you guys uh, that might help you with your own life. Um, so, that being said, I have a list <laughs> to address and I'm pretty sure that a lot of them I can just say from memory, but I'll go ahead and refer to that list. Um, and oh, the first thing that I'm going to address is being dark. So this list is essentially going to compose of a lot of the common things that I'm often made fun of uh, for, like especially things like, you know, growing up. And if for those of you who watch my videos regularly, uh, you guys may already like know a lot about these things, you know, things that I mentioned like other videos such as the recent speech uh, video that I posted um, on valuing, you know, what's inside as opposed to like what's outside, um, special treatment for attractive people. And um, even in my uh, video about how I feel about racism and my video on um, how I feel about, you know, the Black Panthers, the movie and everything. Essentially, uh, hey, look, there goes Rashad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, that's that's kind of what that's kind of what uh, I'm going to be talking about today. I think the Rashad's actually about to walk in here and interrupt. Uh, so be ready for that, just in case if he does, um, or maybe not. Anyway, being dark. That's one of people's favorite things to toss in my direction. I think it's an easy uh, thing for them to tease me about. Um, it's not their favorite. Um, we'll get to their favorite one, but it's pretty much close to the top of that list. Um, ever since I was growing up, uh, this was something that like even the other dark-skinned people, they'd look at me and uh, actually I look even darker than I usually do today because it's so hot outside <laughs> and I've been in the sun a lot and it's like man you know I'm just always thinking about like wow like I'm gonna be looking like my tie soon um some people would probably even think that I already am ha 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 but yeah like growing up like I used to get called things such as like skid mark and you know a whole bunch of like other stupid stuff like there was a guy who was literally either the sh same shade as I am or just one shade lighter and he, whenever the lights would go off for like the overhead and stuff, they'd be like, hey Denzel, smile so that we could see, you know, so that we could see where you are. And it's like, very funny. Um, and eventually I just, I had to really learn to embrace uh, how dark I am. And it's, it's a lot easier now because people are starting to realize like, hey, this is childish to tease other people about. Um, we can't help how dark we are. Like sure, we can stay out of the sun, but like, 
how much is that really going to help a dark-skinned person? Um, and on top of that, a lot of dark-skinned people are still very attractive. Like, if for those of you who may watch Dear White People, um, I think that Joelle from uh, Dear White People, she's a dark-skinned person, but she's she's very attractive. You know, um, a lot of people find Idris Elba and uh, Lance Gross to be very attractive men and everything. And I guess being tall and muscular is something that also like plays into that, which unfortunately I was not blessed with. And it's another thing on the list. <laughs> Once again, like I said, this is not me like just spilling out and venting to you all. Um, there is a point to this, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll wrap it all up, so bear with me as I take you through this roller coaster. But yes, uh, being uh, short is probably the favorite target of most people's. Now, for those of you who may not know, I am 5'7". And of course, there are people who are shorter than I am. Um, out there, there are guys who are shorter than I am out there, but it's 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 still something that people love to just point out. Um, even girls that I've been with, um, they they don't try to like bring me down with it, but they unintentionally bring it up a little bit too often, and it's just like okay. And I've had girls downright tell me that they wouldn't want to be with me because of my height. Um, I've had girls who didn't want to show me off <laughs> on their Instagram page or whatever and even decided to break up with me over my height. Stuff like that. And man, this really sounds like I don't I don't feel comfortable sharing all of this, you know, like that, but whatever. Sounds like a venting session. But um I will share one thing um that kind of triggered me a few weeks ago and backstory. Um, my ex came into town and uh, she's very short, um, probably like 5'1", uh, between 4'11 and 5'1", I'm sure that she's one of those. Um, and that day she was wearing pumps, like so shoes that like make her seem taller. Uh, and she and I hung out, um, we're really just cool friends, um, nothing like that trust me um but yeah we hung out um we actually even hung out with a couple other friends and she posted a picture uh, that me and her took on her instagram story and one of the christian <laughs> he's actually a very popular christian guy on um uh instagram twitter a whole bunch of other places uh this guy sent me this story this is our second conversation that we've ever had and i quote he said he sends me the story saying, "Bruh, you're short." Honestly, I didn't know how to respond, and in hindsight, there are a lot of rude things I could have said back. But I tried to handle this as someone who was not offended easily, whatever. So I sent back skull emojis, like laughing. And I'm like, "So what do you want me to do, fam?" And I'm like, "Ha ha ha, nah." But yeah, I mean, I accepted that. 5'7", but in my defense, her sneakers added an extra two inches to her, and I had flat vents. Then he texts back saying, well, messages back in the DM saying, bro, she's like 5'1", don't front. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> I actually used to pray to be at least 5'9", and he said, lol, God ain't come through, you needed to fast. So I'm like, <laughs> Still trying to make light of the joke. And I'm like, and miss out on even more nutrients? Couldn't risk it. Ha 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 ha. No response. Until later on, I'm like, nah, but I know. It's actually a huge, in a huge insecurity of mine that I've written about in blogs and stuff. It's not fair, but nothing I can do about it. Just got to make sure my mind is tall, as corny as that may sound. Um, and then... <laughs> As crazy as it sounds, uh, for the rest of that night, I literally was just laying in bed, like, depressed. Because I was, and I was looking up all these YouTube videos on, like, dealing with being short, and, you know, stuff like that. Like, I even texted one of my friends um, who's shorter than me, and he's a very confident ISTP guy. Um, and I'm like, yo, I'm, I don't mean to come off, like, rude or anything, but, like, how do you deal with being short? You know, like, people looking down on you, no, no pun intended, you know, stuff like that, like, like, how do you, how do you keep your confidence, you know, stuff like that, 
and uh, he gave me some advice, you know, stuff like um, just making sure that your confidence is so high and brimming and all of that, and you even crossing your arms certain uh, certain places, you know, things along those lines. And I mean, I'm still trying to incorporate that. But um, yes, short is one of the things that people used to like really point fingers at and like tease me for. Used to have hope that I was gonna grow. I've lost hope in that, um, and yes, yes, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, but it's something that, yeah, like you know, you just have to get over. Uh, another thing on the list, uh, being African, which kind of goes along with like being a dark thing, you know, like people making fun of me, going, you know, stuff like that. When I used to run track back in high school. Um, in, in junior high school, then people used to be like, oh, Denzel um, is only so fast. Like, I was faster than all of them. Um, they said, well, the only reason why he was so fast because he had to run so quickly so that he could catch the zebras um, that he would chase after and hunt and, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, haha, funny, but not really, you know. Uh, used to be made fun of for my middle name, which is Poku. Uh, and I think I admit this in my um, uh, Black Panther video and uh, people used to call me like Pokemon and stuff uh, for my other African friends out there we got called African booty scratcher oftentimes you know things like that and it's just like and now you look at today's society same with like the dark skin stuff and like people are like yo dark skin guys are so mm, you know it's like oh now now y'all want to do this I mean I'm not complaining but it's just like where were y'all when I was growing up? <laughs> you know, like, now, now y'all want to, like, really, like, praise us. And, like, all of a sudden, people's perception just changes. Because people's perception changes. Like, oh, dark-skinned guys are in now. So we're going to start, you know, talking about how great dark-skinned guys are. And then Black Panther comes out. And it's like, oh, Africans are in now. So now we're going to start praising Africans. And it's like, well, what? Oh, yeah, I always loved Africans. No, you didn't. You were one of the people who used to make fun of me when I was younger. <laughs> Like, don't, don't play games, you know what I mean? Um, so, there's that. And I think there's one more on the list, and I'm going to just tie everything down. Well, actually, there's two more, but the last, the second to last one is just really quickly, and that's being a nerd. Um, people used to make fun of me because, well, I am honestly a nerd. Uh, I love Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z, and uh, I read a lot. Um, I am like a bookworm, you know, stuff like that, and... You probably wouldn't expect that from the way that I carry myself and all of that. Like, I don't walk around, like, with glasses and, you know, like, as if, like, I'm some type of, like, geek. But uh, I'm pretty, I pretty much am one on the inside. Like, I just really love to, like, learn and educate myself on a whole bunch of different other things. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I used to be made fun of for that uh, a lot growing up. And then, of course... The biggest one and for those of you who made it this far in the video um, this might get a little bit graphic but hopefully not much I am often made fun of um, for being a virgin so for those of you who don't know um, who may not keep up with my misconceptions on Christianity videos which I will be continuing to post out more especially this summer God willing um, I am a virgin um, I'm yet to have sexual penetration uh, I've engaged in other things, but like that's the <laughs> besides the point. Um, I am virgin, and uh, I plan to keep my virginity until I'm married. I've always had that plan in mind. Um, it's not just because like oh that's what God called me to do and told me to do, um, but. It's also because I see the value in that. And I think that, you know, it'd be very beautiful to tell my future wife one day, like, hey, I saved myself just for you. It was hard, no pun intended. <laughs> okay, I think I'm doing a little bit too much. I'm sorry, guys. For those of you who have, like, very, oh my gosh, type of ears, forgive me. These are the type of jokes that I sometimes like to tell when I'm nervous and exposing. And I'm going to stop talking about that. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Oh man, I just, oh, what if my mom was watching this? Oh, this is weird. Anyway, spontaneous speaking video, can't edit these things out, so I'm just going to keep on going. Um, yes, I am a virgin, um, and people 
a lot of my friends often continue to make fun of me for this, um, even the Christian ones, which is funny. Um, I have one friend, for example, who literally texted me today, <laughs> and she, she, she texted me a picture that she saw on Instagram, uh, and it says, virgins, comes to see, virgins come to see you and kiss you all day. All I responded back was, ha ha. Um, and this same friend, ESTP girl, she's always, she's very promiscuous, <clears throat> both with guys and with girls. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and she's always, you know, making fun of me, like pretty much like, uh, and this is the thing with like a lot of different girls. I have another ESTP friend, female friend who does this, um, an ISFJ friend who used to do this a lot, like, she's she lost hers last uh year and we both had like vowed the same vow to like keep it um and she lost the race and uh ever since then it's just been like you know kind of like babying me you know stuff like that <laughs> child oh you're so cute well i know you think that it's gonna be like this but when you get there then you're it's like and it's, it's stop like don't 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 baby me like that you know things along those lines and uh, I just have a lot of other friends pretty much like do the same thing. Like they, they condescend me slightly or heavily because I'm yet to partake in those type of actions. Um, and I've realized along with all these other things, and this is where I'm tying all these things in. So thank you guys for keeping this, uh, riding along with me this whole entire time. Um, I've realized that the way that I respond to each thing will change their perception. And the biggest example that I use is this virginity example. Um, in high school, I used to continue to be made fun of for being a virgin. <clears throat> and although a lot of guys can like be made fun of, especially Christian guys, uh, they're made fun of for being virgins often and everything. Um, I've helped a lot of uh, younger guys to be bold about it um, in the same way that I did. And one example that I used to do it was when the cool kids would talk to me about like, oh, you're a virgin, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yo, Denzel, you're still a virgin? You haven't smashed anything yet? Blah, blah, blah. I used to have witty comebacks. Um, like one of them that I used to tell people was like, yeah, I am still a virgin. And I just think that it would be very beautiful one day to tell my wife um, that she's the first person I'm ever sharing this much vulnerability with. She's the first person to ever have this side of me, unlike you, who unfortunately you can't do that. Um, and oftentimes I would shut them up. Um, this isn't to shame others who are, you know, like who do have more than one partners or who are sexually active and everything. Uh, it was just more of like a defense thing. Like I'd only say that to those who came um, against me or who tried to attack me. Um, another thing that I used to tell them was uh, like, they would, they would like, oh, is that your virgin? Uh, they laugh at me and everything. And I remember one time I told them like, you know, the more people that you sleep with, the cheaper you start to appear. And you're looking quite cheap and I'm looking quite expensive. Um, and that that was a <laughs> that was a big one um, because I remember when I used to go to school, uh, high school, and I, I didn't really go to the parties at school. I used to just like you know like I literally because I didn't go to the school parties and I didn't have girls like dancing on me and all of that. The one party that I decided to go to, I think it was like homecoming or prom. Well, I went to prom and it wasn't that, but like homecoming. I, literally, I distinctly remember overhearing a few girls talking about, oh, like, let's see, like, they were making a challenge to see who can dance on me first, who can get me to dance first, who can, who, like, you know, stuff like that. And I won't, I won't lie, that was quite flattering. Um, none of them won, because I didn't dance. But um, it made me think a lot, like, wow, because of my confidence, and because of the way that I carried myself, that made me more desirable to them. Because clearly I, I'm, I wasn't the best looking guy there. There was a whole bunch of other guys who could have been like being danced on and everything. 
But they were making this challenge because it's like, yo, you did that with Christian Boy? Yo, you did, you know, stuff like that. And they wanted that. Um, I had a lot of girls who were literally begging me to have sex with them um, because they knew that I was a virgin. Not even because they really liked me or anything, but it's like, oh my goodness, like, I know that if I do this with Christian Boy, I must be good. And I wasn't gonna grant them that satisfaction. <laughs> like, like I said, like it was hard sometimes, but it's like, no, like I want to stay true and faithful to my future wife, um, and I want to stay up, uh, first and foremost faithful to God. Um, he placed these rules there for a reason. Um, whether other people believe it or not, that's on you. Um, but and if you want to know more about my reasoning behind um, sex before marriage and everything, you can check out my misconceptions on Christianity video part two, um, where I talk about it in like deep detail for like the last 20 to 25 minutes of the video. Uh, but yeah, you guys can check that out. And yeah, the way that I responded to these people oftentimes made them be like, wow, okay, Denzel. And it made them have respect for me. Um, and so that same thing goes for everything else that I listed. Uh, and I guess the moral of the story, the whole thing, the whole message of what I'm trying to say is that we should learn to embrace who we are and what we are. We should take pride in who we are and what we are. I take pride now that I'm a virgin. Yes, it sucks that I have friends who condescend me and you know, act like, oh, you, you're such a baby. You don't know anything. You're 23 years old and you're still yet to engage in this action. <laughs> and it, it is annoying. But because I carry myself in a way that's like, yeah, and I'm proud of that. Now, if you're a jerk, don't, don't be proud of that. <laughs> you need to go and fix that. Um, but if you, you know, holding strong to like, like, oh, yes, I'm a Christian and I am proud of it. Yes, I do believe in God and I'm proud of that. Um, yes, I'm African and I'm proud of that. I know my roots. I'm proud of that. Um, it's I'm still working on the whole short thing. Um, but yeah, at least, you know, I'm short, but I also have a good mind on me or I'd like to at least think so. Um, and my girl likes me, so hey, you know, I still got one. Hey, that's something. I'm gonna be pro gonna be proposing to her tomorrow, so hey, that's something. But shh, don't tell her. I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna watch this before this happens. So this is kind of cool. All of you guys who made it to this end of this video, um, Easter egg. Um, but and you're probably watching even after it's already happened. Uh, <laughs> But yes, I'll be proposing to her tomorrow, and we'll be making a video about that too, so stay tuned. That was so risky, but anyway. Yes, uh, whatever your insecurity may be, first off, know that the same God who was so specific on how Noah should build his ark to like, you know, the measurements and everything. The same God who is so specific on how he created the whole entire planet is also the same God who is very specific in how he made you. Now, I'm still yet to find out why God made me dark, why God made me short, um, why God did not make me have like these big muscles and all of that, you know, whatever. Um, blessed in other areas that's great but you know at the same time it's like you know we, we don't always get like everything that we want um, but what you do have embrace that be proud about it just like in my video that I spoke about like you can you can always look worse <laughs> trust me you can always look worse and I also wrote a blog uh, I'll be putting it in the link uh, called dealing with insecurities and I think that it's a very 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 good blog article um, very personal uh, once again, and I think that anybody who checks it out, like they'll, they'll really be blessed uh, reading it. But yeah, I want you guys to identify what those insecurities are and take ownership of it. Be prideful about it. Um, and yeah, just own it and uh, respond in a bold way. And if you do that, then the way that people will try and come for you, they'll stop. They'll just know better. Like, mm, like Denzel's short, but his mind is really tall. 
It's actually taller than mine. Oh, Denzel is dark, but he still dresses well. Or you know, you know things things along those lines. Like oh, Denzel is African, but blah 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 blah. Oh, Denzel's a virgin, but his values behind why he's doing that is great. And it's not like oh, um, if I didn't want to lose my virgin, like if I wanted to lose my virginity, I couldn't do it. I definitely could. I've had many opportunities that I've turned down. So that there's a difference between that as well. But yeah, all in all, I just want to let you guys know that it's okay to have insecurities. It's something that I'm still continuing to work on. Um, but know how to deal with them. Um, embrace them. Take pride in them. Um, and just be you. So that's my rant for today. Uh, hopefully it didn't come off too much like a venting session. Um, and once again, I'll keep you guys updated about tomorrow. I'll let you know how all of that goes. Um, I'm really hoping that this doesn't backfire because that would be very unfortunate. Nobody go send her this video. I'm actually going to restrain her from watching in a very subtle way until everything has gone down. And then I'm going to mention like, hey, you know, I actually announced it in a video, a long video the other night that I knew that you weren't going to watch before then. But this is risky though. If anything, I mean, worst case, I can just change the date, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm chatting. Thanks for watching again, guys. Um, and done.